Hello and welcome to The Produce Aisle. Today I want to talk about shortcuts that I use all the time in Cakewalk by BandLab. Just a few extremely functional kind of things for editing and getting around. I wish I had known them right off the bat, but everything takes time and I can only absorb what I am ready to absorb at that time. Please do hit the like button if you appreciate lady producers like me sharing production tip videos like this. I appreciate it a lot. First one is showing just only a tiny sliver of the power of holding control while doing other things. So I'm going to do a quick resample of this vocoder track. I did a video on resampling if you want to, if you're interested in that. But let me just do this real quick. I gotta get out of this so that should just be the vocoder. I'll solo it. Yeah, vocoder and a little bit of voice. So this is on an aux track. I don't really want it to stay on the aux track. I want to copy this up to something. I could do it the old way of control, control C, control V, a la Word document. However, Cakewalk has a faster way. If you hold control and while on the upper part of the waveform, not the lower part of the waveform, upper part of the waveform, drag up to wherever you want to copy it. And that's it. It's so fast. <laughs> it's really nice. If I wanted to stretch this audio or shrink this audio, I hold control shift until I get that little stretchy, stretchy mark. And it can stretch up to 400%, which is pretty wild. You get the idea. It's clever too, because it keeps it in key. And I can shrink it down. How small can we shrink? How small can we shrink? Ooh, 25%, that's really small. <laughs> Again, I kept it in key. So on the top of the waveform, you get that four directions cross signal. And then on the bottom of the waveform, you get a cursor. If you hold control while it's on the cursor and drag up or down, you can control the level of the clip gain, which is pretty handy. If I wanted to take a group of things and move them around all at once, I can right click and lasso them. Right click and drag. That's one that I wish I had known about sooner. It's really nice. So you could take the whole the whole shebang there. Or you can adjust uh, fades on everything at the same time. Control Y is a redo, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't know that, it's the opposite of Control Z. And then the last one, which I learned this one from Mike, uh, and Creative Sauce, amazing channel. If you've got a, a bus selected, hold Alt, you can move that bus around to wherever you want it. It's the same with tracks too. So that's kind of handy if you want to reorganize reor things. For more tricks like this, the help module is amazing. I, th I thought I was above the help module, uh, that it, it couldn't help, it couldn't possibly help me. <laughs> But look at this. When, whenever you're rolling around the DAW, it gives you helpful things. Look at all these things that you didn't know you could do with an audio clip. If it's not up on your screen, you can bring it back with views, browser, or just hit B. B turns it, turns it on and off like that. F1 is your friend that gets you the help manual at any time, so you don't have to go looking it up at Google. It'll just get you right there. And you can go to the index and look up anything. I find search bar is not really helpful, but if you control F and search for, say, uh, I want to look at what I can do with MIDI, then it'll show me all the things that have to do with MIDI, and I can, I can look around that. Or if I want to look up keyboard shortcuts Ta -da. there's two pages of them it's, it's just endless it's a very deep program and there's a lot to learn so i will leave you with that for now i hope you have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you and i will see you next time